السلام عليكم <تصفيق> كيف الحال ان شاء الله طيبين الحمد لله آه Adam, who is Adam? Please write your ID. Please write your ID. طيب how many students we have 16 students so <sighs> where are the students طيب 16 اوكي تفضل يا سار في فرق ما في فرق هل في فرق Is there any difference between the old one and new one? So I saw that the syllabus and the calendar, it's the same topics. Same topics. Okay. 
طيب ان شاء الله today we are gonna talk about meeting five which is inheritance and three more present so to be honest with you this meeting usually cover uh, 80% of the mid 10 80% so and 10% usually um, uh, the array list and 10 the rest of percentage usually for the rest of the classes like the concept, the F condition, all the concept. So the inheritance and polymorphism usually cover 80% of the MTA. طيب. Inshallah, today we are gonna take many examples on how can create the the base class, how can it take for example the subclass for the uh, base class or the sober class salamat okay no problem inshallah nak tayyiba bas are you good طيب no problem no problem طيب ذكروني في بسمع في الحضور طيب suppose you will define classes you will define classes to model circles and rectangles and triangles these classes have many common features so usually if you want to use the super class and the subclasses and you want to inherit from another class so usually it depends on the common features it depends on the common feature so and here we have example about the circle or we have for example how can take the one shape and then inherits from this shape many classes because there are common area we can get the benefits from this class so that for example saving our time and no duplicates and for example what is the best way to design these classes so it's to avoid redundancy for example so instead of write for example a uh, string name uh, string color uh, for another class so you can write it one time and then you can inherit everything from the base class so and the answer is to use the inheritance for example it's one of the object oriented features من الخصائص اللي موجودة عندنا في الأوبجكت أورينتد في الجافا من الأشياء القوية جدا إن حن نقدر نستفيد أو نقدر نستفيد من الوراثة الوراثة هو مفهوم في الجافا أو خاصية في لغة الكائنات نقدر نستفيد منها طيب So inshallah the objectives for our class relationships between classes so we are gonna create many classes it had or the, the class for example or classes have relationship with the others for example inheritance relationship to define subclass how can define the subclass from the subclass or how can uh, define the child from the for example sub or sober class or uh, sober class to invoke the sober class constructor and method using the sober keyword for example all these things inshallah we are gonna explain it carefully inshallah with many practice and to override the instance method in subclass to distinguish difference between overriding and over loading and explore the two string method object also the equal method and many things inshallah in our class طيب. inshallah uh, we 
ان شاء الله يو ويل تيك ذا سوفت وير انجينيرنج اول ذا كونسبت سوفت وير انجينيرنج ات هاز ريليشن شيب وذ ذا جافا سو وي هاف ديفرنت تايبس اوف ريليشن شيب بين كلاسز توداي وي ار غانا فوكس اون ذا انهيرتنس سو وي هاف سمثينج كول كومبوزيشن اجريجيشن ان شاء الله يو ار غانا تيك ات ذا سوفت وير انجينيرنج ان شاء الله اي ثينك نيكست سيمستر موست اوف ذا ستودنت تيك ذا سوفت وير انجينيرنج اند ذي هاف تو نو ذا The, 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 the types of the relationship يعني راح اليوم نتكلم عمليا عمليا راح نتكلم عن المفهوم اللي نهيتس طيب in this for example lecture we will concentrate on the inheritance relationship is a relationship and how to implement in Java operation ان شاء الله درسنا اليوم راح نركز ان شاء الله على الوراثه او مفهوم الوراثه. طيب نشوف الطلاب ان شاء الله العدد اوكي 25 سو ذاتس جود. اوكي. سو الاجريجيشن ريليشن شيب الاجريجيشن موديل هاز ريليشن شيب اند فروم ذا هول باترشن شيب. سو هير جاست وي ار جانا انتروديوس ليتل بيت اباوت ذا اجريجيشن اند كومبوزيشن. اجريجيشن فور اكزامبل If you class and this class has a relationship, the second thing, if you, for example, delete it, so it's not, for example, related or affect on other class. يعني لو أمسح الكلاس هذا بينهم علاقة وأمسح if you delete this class, for example, for some reason, for example, so it doesn't affect the the base class or other class. This is the aggregation concept. The composition, no, it's different. So if you delete the classes, so it's gonna be effect of Adam. How can it represent these classes in your ML in the diagram? So the aggregation, for example, you can, for example, use the empty diamond. The empty diamond, for example, that represent the aggregation. The uh, in the opposite way, if you, for example, see filled diamond, for example, that mean composition. That, for example, it must, for example. Uh, related to other class, if you delete it, so it will affect on other class. This is the second kind of the kind of relationship between classes, the composition. Look at, for example, the link between the scroll, scroll power and the window. And the button and the window. If you delete the button or the window class, so all the scroll, the scroll bar and the button are deleted. Well deleted. Okay. This is the composition relationship. Okay. And this is how can it represent the relationship between them, between classes. واضح الفرق بين ال composition وال aggregation class. So this is for uh, theory, for example. So just, intro, uh, for example, uh, little introduction about them. The most or the main thing that we have in our class is the inheritance, okay? But the same thing you have to take, for example, some information about aggregation and competition. Yani, for example, this window, for example, we have, as you see, we have a scroll bar. Okay, the chatting, and we have uh, buttons. We don't have buttons. So if you, for example, delete this one, so all of them classes, they will delete it. An aggregation relationship is usually represented as data field. عادة إذا أردنا أن نمثل aggregation class, راح نمثلها في data field. زي ما تعلمنا. The data field. So we are gonna, for example, represent the name of class, which is aggregation class. So here, how can I represent if we have three classes? Name, student addresses. So we are gonna, for example, represent that. So no more example about aggregation. That means.
اوكي سوري ثانك يو اسيل طيب طيب اوكي طيب بليز انهرتنس انهرتنس از ان اوبجكت اورينتد تيتشر ويتش الاوز كلاس ويت الاوز كلاس تو انهرتنس ذا بيهيفير الميثودز اند داتا فيلد فروم اذر كلاس اوكي طيب with the use of inheritance the information is made manageable for example an hierarchical order okay subclasses and the sober class the class which inherits the properties of the other for example is known as subclass drift classes and child classes this for example if you want to inherit something from other class So the new thing that we created, for example, that's gonna be subclasses because you want to inherit something from the base class, and we sometimes we are gonna call the base class superclass or call it, for example, uh, you can call it feather class or base class. It depends. Exactly as uh, here. The class whose, for example, it is inherited is known for sober class or base class or parent class. We can call one of them, it depends on you, for example, this is usually the base class. The base class, and the new thing or the new class that you want, for example, to take the properties or the method or the function from the base class, we can call the new class sub. class or a child class واضح لابد احنا نفهم المسميات هذه عشان تكون الصوره واضحه we have to know all these for example terms so um, it's going to be easy in the future if you use it for any examples okay طيب uh, 24 Okay, please, please pay attention with me. Pay attention with me. So we are gonna create, for example, a base class. We are gonna create a base class. So what is the best way to create the? Uh, okay, so we are gonna call it. Uh, this is the base class. We are gonna call it, for example. Uh, We want to share the information. So I'm going to, for example, explain a little bit, uh, especially in the practical or in the lab. So please share me your information. So usually, let's, for example, using, let's, for example, using the UML diagram. Um, I'll paint. Okay. Play. Right. Okay. So... We have here the base class. Is it clear? This is the base. It's terrible and writing, I know. But this is the base class. طيب. هذا راح يكون الكلاس الأساسي اللي راح ننشئه في البداية. طيب اعطوني اي مثال عشان نبدا نطبق المثال واقعيا give me an example for example for everything and then we are gonna for example use it mm. طيب خلونا نسمي الكلاس هذا name it for example a اوكي okay. Okay, we are gonna name it a class. This is sober class. This is a. This is, for example, this, for example, call. We are gonna call it sober class. Okay. Or we can call it 
base class or we can call it the parent class clear fine then we have for example uh, uh, well, for example let's talk about or give me any kind of properties for example that's uh, in the data field for example the data fields we have here the data fields and we have for example the functions or the attributes so here for example let's uh, uh, it has probability it's kind for example double it's gonna be for example height height and equal for example five okay and we have any functions we have L functions here L functions that mean L functions it's for example L method okay طيب. just imagine we have many methods and we have many for example properties but for, to make it for example easy or we are we want to facilitate the examples طيب. L base class طيب. In the UML diagram, how can it represent the inheritance? كيف أقدر أمثلها في الصورة في شكل? How can it represent the diagram in the UML? كيف أعمل؟ طيب. Let uh, حنا نتكلم من عندي مثلا just I have one child, one child for this class, and we are gonna name it for example, we are gonna name it. Give me any name, for example, for give me any name for the subclass or the child class. Uh. child class okay a sub class طيب عندنا sub class or a child class okay so here we have for example also we have a sub class or main class طيب so if you want to represent in the for example diagram so we have for example to use this association between them okay من يوم تشوف الرسمه والدياجرام بالطريقه هذه معناها ان في كلاس ورد من كلاس اخر واضح الصوره كيف الطريقه so if you see for example this diagram this relationship represents for example this class the current class inherent everything from the base class or server class uh, we are gonna name it for example b okay and we have for example and properties and we have the attribute but here if you want to add a new feature, new properties, new functions, you can add it. And there is no need to write the same thing in the base class. Okay? So if, if you write, for example, you have new things, we have new features, new functions, you can add it. So, and there is no need to write everything in the base class. It's going to be already inherited. Okay? يعني انا من يوم اشوف هذا هل الكلاس البي فاضي؟ Is it empty or it has something؟ ها؟ الشايلد كلاس او السب كلاس Empty؟ No, it's not empty. It's not empty. قلنا البي it's for example inherited everything in the base class. Okay, let's be that. Okay, we are gonna, for example, move this. Oh, no, نقل. 
Yes, this is the inheritance concept. We can inherit everything from the base class or from the sober class, okay? And the new thing that we have, the base class, maybe we have added, we can add new things. يعني والله أنا ورد شيء معين وبرضو عندي أشياء متميزة فيني تختلف عن الباس كلاس. Okay? So you can write a new thing here if you don't write. So all these things we are gonna, for example, inherit it. طيب. In the class, for example, project name and we have, for example, this is You got the button, it's marish. So, okay, nice. So, we are gonna create, for example, subclass. Okay, we have for already project by. A. Let's try double A. Okay, so A new class, tap a class, call it A for example, and the package, the package name is, let me put it, this is the class A for example, and this is for example the class B. طيب. Okay. طيب. Class A, for example, what is the properties that we have? قلنا راح يكون عندي for example in height, for example, we have in height, for example, equal five. So and we are gonna give for example double. So D usually is a small double, and we missing the semicolon. Okay, and you can write for example any method public public. Public void, for example, we have any names, for example. The public, for example. Okay. The public void. So, time. And the second class, if you want, for example, if you want to inherit the A class, we have to write the term that related or it means inherit the class 
A. So what should we write here? From the the class A, what should we write in this line? Huh? إيش اللي نحتاج نكتبه في class? إذا أنا أبغى أدرس من class A وحاليا أنا في B, what should we write here? Extends exactly يا زهير. طيب we have for example to write extends. Extends and the name of the class. يعني أنا راح أدرس كل الأشياء اللي موجودة في class A. أوكي واضح طيب أنا بالكتابة هذه أنا إيش وردت جميع يبدو إن عندنا مشكلة في الباكج النيم باكج بس نشوف أوكي بالطريقة هذه this is we can Okay, good question, yeah, Tamana. Why we use the extend again? What do you mean by again? This is the first time to use it. Extend, it's the first time to use it. What is the first time? We didn't use it yet. We haven't used it yet, yeah, Tamana. Okay. Wava, is that clear? Okay. So, we have, for example, طيب class B for example class B give me anything to write it here give me anything we wrote for example the height in the class A we can write for example width for example in the class B equal six so we are gonna write for example double here for example what else we let's for example say in public void print and we can write for example anything so print what for example let's say for example a width we have the width here so we are gonna why did we use it can you explain yes طيب تمانا if we want, for example, come back again to this. We have class A. Okay. Tamana, are you with me? We have class A is the best class, is the sober class. Okay. And then we are going to create a new class. It's name B. This is B. We can call it a subclass. We can call it a child class. So, and we want to inherit everything from class A. So in the UML diagram, we can represent this association between classes. That means we are going to inherit everything from the class A. Okay? This is the way that we can. In the code, we can, for example, write the inheritance by the new class. We have class A. You can name it. You can uh, give it, for example, the, all the properties, the functions, everything, and then you can go here and write, for example, class B, extend class B. That means we are going to, for example, inherit everything in the class A. واضح يا تمانا? So, عندنا ايش? الهاي, الود, for example, عندنا هنا. ممكن يعطيني error لان الباكج عندنا فيه مشكلة. Okay, طيب. This is the class B. This is the class B. طيب. لو مسحنا لو مسحنا أريد أن أضيف طيب لو قلنا هذه مش معنا. إيش راح يعطيني خطأ؟ ها. What is the error that we have? Okay, so if we delete extend, for example, if we delete this thing, so we have, for example, we mentioned before, public class B extend A. So that means everything in the class A, we are going to 
inherited in the class B. Okay? Okay. Fine. Are you with me? So, here we are going to inherit everything in the class A. So, if you want to make sure, if you want to make sure about this, we are going to delete extent A. So, and then we are going to see what's going on. So, delete extent. So, it we have, for example, a highlight here in the height because we we don't have, for example, anything in the class B. So, but if you write, for example, extent A, so it's going to be deleted because the height in the properties in the class A. Okay? Tamana. Is that clear? Fine. So here we are going to, for example, create the main class. We are going to create the main class to, for example, see what's going on. Java main class. So we are going to call it the main because it's the main class. So, so, and then default package. Okay. Okay. So here we have the main class. We are gonna try, for example, what should we do here? For example, what should we do here? Huh? So, we are gonna take or create, for example, object from class B. We are gonna create object from class B, and we learn from the pre previous, for example, classes how can create the object. Who's gonna, for example, remind us how can create the object from the class B? Huh? How can I create the object from the class B? Atamana. Tamana. How can I create how can I create the object from the class B? Huh? No, Hessa. No, yeah, Hessa. When the first thing, if you want to create the object, so what is the name of the class B? So, first we have to mention the name of the class B and then name the object name for the class B. For example, equal new, for example, B and Okay. Okay. This is the object. Okay. So, if B, if you invoke the classes, okay. So, the class B, we want, for example, to create object, and then we are gonna. Okay. No, the object is different. The object you have to mention, for example, the name of the class, and then create the object. Okay. It'll be, for example, here. So. In the class B, in the class B, do we have, do we have height in the class B? Do we have height? Huh? Do we have height in the class? We have only one properties and we have one method, isn't it? So, so and the object, for example, if you create the object from class B, just B and call, what is the properties that we have? We have height and with it. Why we hide, for example, in the class B? Okay, great. Because in the class B, we extend everything in the class A. 
isn't it? We inherited everything in the class A. Okay, so if you, for example, create the object, you will see everything that's in class B and the class A, because the class B inherits everything in the class B. In addition, we have also properties in the class B. But look at the class B, we're going to, for example, integer x. Okay, so we are going to go here, for example, and say b, for example, dot. We have, for example, We have B, for example, and have come. What's oh, sorry. Uh, we have here, for example, integer and B, for example, so the main class. We mentioned B, for example, so it equals get. Uh, what's going on? It was before here. But we have a problem here in the object. Maybe this is the wrong way. But the object B. So we are gonna inherit everything in the object B. طيب uh, this is the way how can inheritance the class خلونا نمسح هذه for example Let's see class, for example, let's, for example, call it uh, <coughs> a sober and a sub classes. Okay, and it has, for example, main method. Okay, bye. Right. This is the main method, and here, for example, we are going to create class A, which is, for example, a sober class, which is the sober class, okay? And also, we have the another class, which is the subclass, Java class, and its name B, for example. So, here we have two Classes, two classes, class A and class B. In class A, for example, the properties that we mentioned before, it's, for example, a double, the height, the height, for example, equal six. Okay, and it has method public, the void talk, for example. Okay, but this is the properties. In the class B, are you with me? In the class B, for example, so we are gonna, for example, we have the width equal for, for example, and we are gonna, for example, double, and then we have another function, void, Print, for example, um, type. Okay, so here we don't have any inheritance thing. So if you want, for example, the inheritance, for example, from the class A, okay? Okay, how many properties do we have? We have one, and we have one function. Why? We have one properties, and we have one function. Okay, but in the class B, for example, if you want to inherit from the class B, from A, for example, 
y extend a what does it mean so we are gonna create everything in the class a so in the main class for example so if you want to inherit everything from the class c you can create the object for example v okay So we have to create, for example, constructor. So no problem, we are going to create it. And then it'll be dot, for example. So we are going to, for example, inherit the height from the class A. So in the class B, we don't have the height. And then the width, it's already the class B. And also the, the print, for example, from the class A. So this is how can inherit everything in the class A. Okay, is it clear? Is it clear? This is the way that we can inherit from the class. Right. So, for example, we are the member of the each class in the below class diagram. We have the bank account we have the bank account for example which is the sober class which is the sober class here in the sober class that we have we have properties owner string balance dollars and we have the functions or the method the deposit for example uh, and the uml diagram we can represent the child class and represent the relationship between the subclasses how many subclasses do we have in this diagram? How many subclasses do we have in this diagram? We have two. Exactly. Excellent. So, and then we can represent the relationship by this way, for example. And then the class or the subclass or child class, its name, a checking account, for example, inherit everything from the bank account also the saving account it's the child class it's the subclass and it will inherit everything from the bank so then you think then you think that we have in the saving account is the annual interest rate and also we have new methods so the additional thing that we have from the base class it's the properties and also the method that we have. Also, in the checking account, also, we have the new properties, for example, and also we have the methods, new method. But we already, or the checking account has already, for example, has the same properties in the bank account and the same uh, uh, functions in the bank account. واضح مفهوم الانهيريتنس طيب <تصفيق> قال لك there are two types in the Java hierarchy you have with the first one we have uh, the user defined and we have Java class library user defined this is what we uh, for example did before what we did for example we say we have class A and we have class B so you can see the hierarchical from the class A to class B the first class A and then we have the second thing class B so the hierarchical it depends on the relationship between them يعني تختلف العلاقة بينها نقدر نقول ايش ان علاقة هيرايكل from the class A and the class B for example so this is by the user defined we defined this relationship احنا اللي عرفنا الشيء ذا صح we can create also we can create the second hierarchical we can say for example a class we can say for example class C inherit from the class B what does it mean that means the class B inherits everything from the A and the class C inherits the thing from the B and also from the A. 
Okay, this is the hierarchy. This is the hierarchy used by the user. We create the hierarchy, we create the inheritance, and this is by the user. Okay, so also we have a new thing also. We can say, for example, we can create, for example, class A also, and then we can use many subclasses. We can use many subclasses. We can use many subclasses. Okay. So this is, for example, also user by def uh, defined by user, for example, class method, for example, one, two, three, all of them, all of them, these, for example, one, two, three, four classes are the subclasses or child classes. And this is the base classes or the server classes. Okay. So is it clear? Five. This is. For example, user defined. We created class A and then created many classes that have relationship with the web class. So it depends on the user how can use the hierarchy of Java. Type Zuhair, Zuhair. I am waiting you to write something. I'm not sure if you still want to ask or not. But the second thing of the Java hierarchy, for example, uh, the Java class library, Java class library. So already, for example, in the object oriented, we have many classes. We have many classes, for example, that already defined by the Java, that defined by the Java. So in the, the hierarchy, for example, the hierarchy in the Java, we have, for example, class A, class B, class C, it depends, the figure, for example, but for example, if you want to use uh, any classes that's already found in the Java, so we can call or call the name of the class and the method, or you can import the library and use any, any for example, method that's created by the Java. Like, give me an example about this concept. Do you have any example about the Java class library? Okay. لا لا إن ذا جافا جافا كلاس لايبرري شيء جاهز أردني so الحين for example قلنا here for example in the Java the main method okay so we can call, for example, any classes that already in the Java. Like, for example, the math. The math. Do we have class? The math. It has method. One of them, for example, it's the max, isn't it? So, here, for example, let's five, five, six, double six, and so, do we have any classes? Call math in our class A or B. No, it's already in the Java. Only we call it. That means we have already math in the class and we have method. One of them next. We have another method that, for example, for the math class. And we can print of them. This is, for example, by the Java. This is defined by the Java. But in the user define, we define class A and class B, and then we use the method from our class. This is defined by the user. Everyone, for example, of us can create class and methods and then use it. 
And in the Jaffa, we already, for example, have classes, as we mentioned, in Matut, for example, we have, what else? We have the scanner class, as we, for example, scanner, for example, uh, will be equal a new scanner, for example, and we have system dot n. So, and then we have to import, for example, the library. So, the, we have desk. The scanner is the class already, for example, from the UTL or we imported from the Java that already, for example, in the Java. Okay? So, you know, or you can differentiate between things that defined by the user or, for example, the Java class library. How can you use? User defined, we create class A, B, and you can write many methods. And we have also from the Java class library. Clear? Fine. Java inheritance, for example, the figure below, for example, shows the part of the Java inheritance hierarchical. So, including the root of the hierarchical, which is the classes whose name is object. The object class, the object class, for example, it has no sober class. That means, for example, an object class is, for example, class for every classes in the Java. Okay? So, it's the top classes. Other classes, it's going to be the subclass. For the object. يعني في الجافا عندنا الجافا تعتبر ال ال object تعتبر ال object إنها سوبر لكل الكلاسات في الجافا. يعني يكون الكلاس ما يعني ما فوقها أي كلاس في الجافا. واضح؟ So as you see for example in the diagram, the object for example is the subclass for all classes in the Java. For all classes in the Java. So an object, for example, we have, for example, a string that uh, under the object class, we have the number, class uh, A, class B, uh, and all things that we learned before. واضح الهيرايكل in the Java? يعني لو جينا مثلا لو جينا هنا, for example, and see, for example, uh, Uh, so we have, uh, I want to remember any examples. Um, how can I represent the object method? Type Hanangul. I don't have currently an example about the object, but you can see. If Okay, I don't have an example right now, but if I remember, I'm gonna mention it. So, okay, طيب. Uh, why inheritance? The main benefit behind the inheritance is the usability feature. So this is the best thing that we can use it for inheritance. So that's gonna be, for example, save our time, effort, and avoid redundancy, for example. So you can use things that already did before. Well, one of you, for example, create a class and it has many methods. And these methods, if you want, for example, to use something related to that class, so there is no need to write or rewrite everything. So we are going to use inheritance that saving our time and use the method, for example, it's already done by one of you, for example, or by Java. راح عندك زام كيف نستغل يعني والله من خصائص الجافا انها تعطينا السهوله والاستخدام وسرعه التعامل if you يعني this is the easiest way for example if you know for example all the classes and how can you use it one of them the math class the math class it has many methods يعني there is no need for example to use or to write anything some of the student write for example method 
for the max or the minimum or the power. So, for example, the best way to save the time by using or calling the ready method or the method that already in the math class. الأفضل تستخدم شيء جاهز أو تعيد كتابتها في الجافة إنك تستخدم إيش الميثود اللي موجودة. Okay, uh, ten minutes break and then we are gonna come back. Okay.
السلام عليكم طيب آه طيب اوكي آه وين وصلنا اوكي اوكي سو واي انهرتنس وي توكت اباوت واي انهرتنس سو سو سنتاكس اوف ذا جافا انهرتنس سو ذا اكستند از تمانا اسك فور هاو كان انهرت for example the subclass so by the keyword extend so the extend as we mentioned before will be for example will be class extend extend mean for example take everything from the class a or inherit is inherit for example the class a so for example here if you write for example if you want to extend from class A, from class A, for example, to class 1, for example, you can write, for example, extend, extend between the name of the class A and B, the extent that we can write it. So, A extend A class. Okay, so the same thing here, for example, the same thing here, you can write it the same thing here, for example, here, the class here, name, to the class here, name, three, and etc. So the general format of the subclass is the public class and the subclasses name. Subclasses in our example is A. Subclasses, uh, sorry, uh, the subclasses for our example is B. Extend from the sober class and in the our example is A. Okay. واضح inheritance. Fine. Here we have example for the sober class and the subclasses. If you don't understand our examples, you can, for example, focus on this example. So, for example, the UML diagram, it's the same thing that we use it. You can represent the relationship between the classes by the relationship association relationship. So, this is the circle can inherit from the symbol, Jaivo, example, a geometric object and the rectangle can inherit from the geometric object class. Okay, so this is how can represent and this is how can, for example, use it. But in the sober class here, we have simple geometric object. Okay, this is the sober class. This is the base class. It has properties and it has method functions. And then this is usually the shape for all the geometric objects. كل الأشكال الهندسية اللي موجودة عندنا. So we are gonna create one class. There are common area between classes. And there is no need to write for every class, for example, the name. There is no need to write, for example, the color. There is no need, for example, to write, for example, uh, the date uh, for the, the, the time for the when you created the class. So we will see, for example, the common area and write it in the sober class. Okay? In the subclass, it's already inherited the everything in the sober class. And then you can add the different thing in the new class. In the circle class, we have things, for example, the, so the sober class doesn't have. So the circle it has some features that is different from the rectangle. So we are going to create the data field function that different from the rectangle. So the circle, for example, how can calculate, for example, the area of the circle? 
that, that we need only the radius. If you know the radius, so you can create it, the thing. So in the data field, we can add the radius and the functions, the circle, how can the calculate the circle, the area. So it has different functions from the rectangle. It has different functions from uh, square. It has different uh, the functions from diamond and etc. What had sort of this is why we use the inheritance, why we use it, how can you use it, and this is the new features or new, for example, features that we have in the subclasses and superclasses. Okay. So here, for example, we have the sober class that we have here. We can represent, for example, for public class symbol geometric object. So we have properties, for example, a string color and white. We have a Boolean field that we have that 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 created. This is, for example, the uh, data field for the sober class. That's called sober class. For example, this is the sober class. Okay, and it has the functions, for example, simple geometric. We have constructor, sorry. Here we have, for example, how can create function for the get color. We have retain color that, for example, it depends on the data field. We have get and set method because the data fields are private, as we learned before, and we have all the set and uh, get methods, it depends on the data field that we have. But now, usually, we can use the set and get method, it depends on the data field types. If you have private, you have to use the set and method to access to the data field. Okay, so the second class that we have, the circle, and the circle here will extend or inherit from the simple geometric object. Here, for example, the keyword extend. So the extend from the simple geometric area. It will inherit the everything from the sober class. This is the sober class. As you notice here, for example, there is no any keyword here because it's the base class. So here we have only data field, radius, for example, because it has the circle, usually it has features different from the another shape of geometric class. And we have uh, the constructor, we have also a uh, get and set method for the data field because it's kind of is private. So this is how can calculate the git area. We have method that use, for example, how can create radius times radius, and then we use the math class and use pi i method for the math class. And pi i is three point fourteen four. So this is how can get the area, and we have method how can get diameter. We have return two times radius this is the fixed rule that we have in the map and etc this is for the circle plus the rectangle class the same thing that we have it will extend or inherent from which class so the rectangle will inherit something from Another class. Can you please explain or mention the name of the class that the rectangle class can inherit from? Okay, fine. And then we have here in the main method, we created the object from the circle and we created the object from rectangle. So 
All of them, for example, are the subclasses. All of them are subclasses. We created the object, and then it will inherit the everything from the subclasses. If we don't have the extent, so we can't access to the subclasses features or properties or functions. Bother. طيب. So they are no inherited. Our subclasses constructor inherited. So no, they are not inherited. And we will take example. A constructor is used to construct the instance of the class and properties and the method and sober classes constructor are not inherited in the subclasses. They can only import from the sober class constructor and using the keyword as sub. Uh, sober, for example. If the keyword sober is not explicitly used, the sober class, uh, for example, no argue constructor is automatically invoked. What does it mean? Type. For example, the sober class, usually we have constructor. How can, for example, is the subclass inherit the sober class or constructor from the sober class? So the answer is no, how can, for example, so in case, for example, we have constructor in the sober class, so we can, for example, write the sober, for example, in the subclass, okay? So if we have constructor, for example, and you want to use it or inherit it, you have to write the sober in which class? When can, for example, write the sober keyword? We can write the sober keyword in the subclasses. So by this way, for example, we come, for example, down in, in the sober class here, and also we are going to invoke the sober constructor first, and always should be first statement. Always it should be first statement in the subclass. This is very, very important things. Okay? Please let me know before moving to the next slide. I hope. Okay, right. So, a sober class constructor is always is always invoked. Okay, so constructor may be invoked and overloaded constructor. What does it mean? Let me just uh, explain what does it mean. Uh, overload and override. Do you know what is the difference between them? Override, for example, overriding, same name, same signature. Same name, same signature. Okay, this is the overriding. The overloading is the same name, different signature. So this is the difference between them. So here, for example, constructor may invoke the overload. The overload, we mentioned, for example, same name, different signature, and or it's sober class constructor. If none of them is involved, the compiler puts sober as the first statement. So it should be in the first statement, okay, in the constructor. And this is usually the question or the things, for example, usually asked in the midterm and the final. So the public A, for example, equivalent to public A sober, for example, and this is public A double D, public A, for example, some statement, usually the sober 
is depressed statement So the keyword sober, for example, refer to the sober class. يعني of the class in which sober appears, this keyword can be used in two ways. For example, to call sober class constructor and to call sober class method from the subclasses. Class. So if we have the sober class and we have subclass, we have constructor in the subclass. So we can use the sober keyword, for example, for the constructor or another method like for example to string method or define subclass subclasses inherent from the sober class a subclass can also have new properties as we mentioned in the circle it has new things different from the geometric object isn't it the circle it has new method how can create the area? So the area for the circle, it's different from the area in the rectangle. It's different from the area in the square. So this is why, for example, the, the subclass, it has new things or different things from the superclass. So override method of the superclass. Override, as we mentioned before, it's the same name, same signature, and maybe different statement. ممكن أنا عندي الميثود نفس الميثود ونفس السجنشر بس تختلف في الستيل Calling sober class method for example you can rewrite the print circle method in the circle has the following public void the print circle system this is for for example uh, rewrite the print circle method in the circle class so the method Circle or the print circle, for example, we have this method, for example, in the subclasses. So system to that print the circle is created, and then we are gonna, for example, use the sober because it has already, for example, the sober class. It has the method called print circle, and then we use the sober get data created because we use the sober in the subclasses. And we mentioned before, we can use the software for the method and also for the constructor. So far, so good. But overriding methods in the sober classes the subclasses inherent method from the sober class okay sometimes it's necessary for the subclass to modify the implementation of the method defined in the sober class so maybe uh, i'm gonna inherit for example the same way for example but we have different or little bit different from the subclass this is Usually, print maybe in the sober class it has method print and print three stars, but in the subclass we have method print, but it can, for example, print different thing. It has the same name, same signature, but it can different new things. Okay, so this is how can type. Uh, <laughs> ما فهمتك يا جهيل لو توضح السؤال Can you please rewrite your question again طيب ال public class circle extend a geometric object so override the two string method defined in the geometric we have already method to string which is in the sober class and if you want, for example, to use the same method, so we are going to use the override. We mentioned the override means same name. So you can use the same name in the subclass public string to string, the same thing. And same signature, it's empty, and the subclass, it will empty because it's override. So the new thing that we have, the new thing that we have in the subclass, return 
sober dot this is the keyword sober for example use it in the subclass to a string why we use for example a two string why we use the two string A two string, for example. What does it mean? So that means, for example, two string, we can use it. We can use the two string, for example, to convert everything to string. To convert everything to a string. So that means we can use it. We can use it to facilitate to ourselves because the string it has many methods that we can modify. We can, for example, use it, for example, by more rights. يعني والله إذا حوّت string أقدر أتحكم في شيء. So if I can integer, for example, or any kind, we can use, for example, a two string to facilitate to our more if you want to use to modify and etc. I'm going to go for example, example to, for example, a two string. And two string, for example, no, for example, uh, integer, for example, a equal 100, for example, sorry. So, how can you use, for example, a method to string, for example, to compare. Okay, are you with me? So, for example, uh, Hamza, not clear. What do you mean? Which part is not clear? Which part is not clear? Yeah, Hamza. Huh? Okay, so, type here, for example, we can create this thing. So, hey, for example, we have integer A. 100 and then we can for example use it to a string and it will be a print 100 so is there any difference if you print 100 so what is the new thing that we have in this example hmm. why we convert it to a string what are the benefits from the method to string. So we mentioned before, if you convert into the string, so we can, for example, facilitate or make it easy to us to use all the methods in the to string. And who has the answer for this question? Why we use the to string method? What is the benefit of the to string method? Right. So we talked, we can use that the method for this one to use, for example, more rights for the two string. So if you want, for example, to see how many letters, for example, in uh, this one, we can use, for example, many methods. For example, for the, we can use a length, isn't it? We can use the length, and then we can, for example, it's gonna be print three. So if it's, for example, integer, so we can't use the method or more, for example, properties. صح? 
بس اني انا راح احولها اقدر اتعامل معها افضل اقدر اتحكم فيها اكثر اقدر استخدم ميثود وخصائص اكثر سو اف يو يوز فور اكزامبل تو سترينج ميثود اتس جانا جيف يو فور اكزامبل مور رايتس اند مور بروبرتيز مور ميثود ذات وي كان موديفاي يوز anything on this thing so usually you can use it for this purpose is it clear okay <coughs> so an instance method can be overridden and we mentioned before what does it mean overridden and we say for example a little override and an overridden only if it's it's accessible this the private method cannot be overridden because it's not accessible outside <coughs> so if the method defined the subclass is private so in the superclass the two methods are completely unrelated so because it's a private So overloading and overriding, we mentioned overloading the same name and for riding. Uh, the overloading, for example, the same, the same name, for example, but different, for example, signature. The overriding, same name, same signature. Okay? Right. So, for example, for the overriding, for the overriding, for example, we mentioned same name, for example. So we have class B, and we have, for example, public void B, and then we have a public void here, for example, public A, public class, that is public A, or public B. So here, for example, here, the same method that we can use it, public void B in double A, for example, and we have the same statement here. The class A extend the class B. Class A extend from the class B. We use the same method, same name, public void B, public void B, double I, double I, and we have different statements. We have different statements. The first statement in the class B, it has, for example, I times two or I multiplies two, and for the method B, it's, for example, only print I. Okay, what kind of this is, for example, of our writing? Wabah? An offer loading, for example, we have the same name, public, for example, public void B, and here we have public void B. We have the same name, different signature. Signature, for example, here we have double I, and here we have integer I. That's called an overloading. Same name, different signature. Same name, same signature. Clear? Okay. Hello, writing we mentioned. Okay, so protected modifier, for example, the protected modifier can be applied on the data and uh, methods in the class. Protected data or protected method in the public class can be accessed by any classes in the same package. Did you remember when we mentioned the kind of, uh, for example, modifier? We do, for example, how can access to the public, and it depends on the package, and protect the default and private, all, all kind of modifier we mentioned before. This is additional things. Or uh, you can, for example, use it, how can access to the sub and sub class, it depends on the modifier. This time, or this is the table can, this is a represent, for example, in the modifier, for example, in the class. So in public, you can access from the same class, okay, for the public. Also, you can access from the same package. If you define the modifier by public, you can access from subclasses. You can access from different package. And we mentioned if you want to access by different package, just you have to import the name of the package. 
Okay, a protected uh, you can inherit from the subclass, so the same package and subclass, but you can't, for example, access from different package. Okay, so defaults we can from the same class access from same package, but you can't use it in the subclasses. If and if in the same package, a private only it can access from the same classes. So this is, for example, a more example for the feasibility modifier. So we have package B and we have package 2. This is UML diagram, you can use it. If you understand the UML diagram, it's going to be easy, for example, to write your code. It's going to be easy to write your code. So we have two different package. We have, for example, the package A. We have the package 2. Okay, so package A, for example, we have, we have, for example, uh, package A, we have the class C2, for example, and we have the class C3. So class C3 extend from the class B. And we have class A in the same package, but for example, it doesn't, for example, take any properties or functions. So only the class CA, for example, it has one, it has two subclasses, one from the same package and one from different package. Okay? So here we can access here, for example, as we mentioned before, you can access by the public from the same package, same uh, classes, or different package. Here it can, from different package, can access because it's the public. As you see, it's the public and can access, for example, to all these things except uh, protected. Yeah, except uh, protected and private. Because we said before, it can access only to the public because it's from different package. So can access X, can access Y, and cannot access to Z. Why? Because it's protected. Is it clear? This is we can't access because it's protected, and we can't access to you, for example, because it's private. Okay, why? Because it's from different package. It's from different package. But here in the same package, we can access, for example, to X. Okay, so green. And also we can access, sorry, let me. We can access to X, we can access to Y, to Z, because, for example, it's the same package. Okay, but we can't access to you, for example, because it's private and it's, for example, different class. And we mentioned before, the private, we can access to the private if in one class. Here we have different class. But here in the public class C2, we use we use the object. The object, for example, can access to, for example, X, can access to Y, can access to Z, and cannot access to, for example, U because it's private. Type. How can access to, to the private in the class CA? Okay, this question. If you answer it, that means you understand the meeting four and three. How can access here in the class C? Setter and getter method. If you understand this diagram, if you understand this diagram, well, you are going to understand the inheritance, the object, and the modifier. Wallahi, it's the best way to understand before coding. Okay, this is the algorithm. This is data structure. If you understand 
this is the best way before starting before start coding okay any questions in the only access here only access to for example the class a because it's public and it's different package so and the others we can't the others we can't because different package any question this is very important diagram you have to know about it if you don't understand that means you have something wrong in your understanding you have to come back and type uh, i have a question i have and questions and i need one of you for example to answer it uh, طيب زهير يعطيك العافية. زهير how many subclasses do we have in this example? How many subclasses؟ أحسنت يا خلود. طيب يا خلود. لا ليش؟ two أحسنت يا أسين two طيب. How can know about the subclasses or child classes in our example by this diagram or by the extent? صح? Also the diagram we can by this one also and by this one. Okay. What about Sora? Type subclass and final word uh, modifier class cannot be extent because it's the final of use the final modifier. Sometimes you can use it for the method and we can use it for the class. The object class and its method, every class in the Java is described in so to string we mentioned before the equal method not in the stand of this is operator for example if you want if you want to test for example the content for example we can use this in instance the instant in instance method for example we can use it for example to test or test the object طيب ال polymorphism ال polymorphism for example it's the same thing. We talked about the overriding and the overloading. The polymorphism, it has two kinds, for example, of the shape. Yani, ability of the word, for example, is simple to use, for example, meaning different things in a different context. We have the same method, but we have different things. This is the in polymorphism. This is the polymorphism. Okay. ترى مهمة بس الوقت عندنا ضاق. So قلنا the polymorphism ability of the object to take many forms. يعني if you have for example if you have here for example we have we have We have, for example, class A, or let's say shape, and we have three classes. We have three different classes. Okay, are you with me, please? Pay attention, five minutes, five minutes. Okay, this is, for example, T means triangle, L R means rectangle, and C means circle. Okay? Okay, so for example, all of this class inherent everything in the shape. The shape we have, for example, a shape, we have methods, it's called draw. Okay, so the draw, for example, it's the same meaning in the same name in the, for example, 
here it's the same name for the uh, triangle we have the same name for the method draw here in the rectangle we have the same name for example draw in the circle so if you want to draw for example uh, a triangle so is it the same shape for rectangle is it the same shape for the circle huh no. So this is why we use, for example, called a polymorphism. We have, for example, ability to the object to take many forms. Yani here the method, the same method, name, same signature, but for example, we have we have different way. We have different way in the triangle. We have different way in the rectangle. We have different way in the circle. This is the polymorphism, for example. What? So, inshallah, inshallah, we are going to take example in the practical or in the lab because we don't have time right now. We, are, we will start the first 10 minutes on Thursday, inshallah, to write code for the polymorphism. Okay? Okay. Uh, This is the polymorphism, for example. The casting girl. Okay. Question concern? Question concern? How was the class? How was the class? Okay. يعطيكم العافية ذكروني ذكروني إن شاء الله just remind me إن شاء الله one third day to start the first ten minutes to explain the polymorphism on the net means okay so we have inheritance and polymorphism two very important concept in the Java and you have to focus on it and إن شاء الله this is the last class before the midterm so I mean the topics. So this is the last topic for the midterm. So starting from meeting one until today, that's covered in the midterm. Yes, yeah, selectivity. You have to start the activity. You have to read the activity from today until Thursday. Inshallah, Thursday, you have to start from uh, two o'clock, and you can submit it as we agreed before. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, inshallah, maybe until now, yes, I'm gonna make sure just about the topics, but what I know before, usually the first six meeting, the sixth meeting, it's a review, so this is the mid this is the midterm topics. Okay. Type. Attendance. Attendance. Type. Khulud. Khulud. Mawjuda. Okay. Yatik al afiyat. Yasmin. Mawjuda. Njood. Mawjuda. تسنيم موجودة لي صفية موجودة صفية 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 طيب أه أسير موجودة أنام أنام أنعام سوري أوكي أنعام موجودة تمانة موجودة زهير سارة غلام سارة غلام سارة غلام سارة سارة غلام طيب الباندري موجودة زهير موجود thank you بدرية thank you سارة محمود سارة محمود سارة محمود uh, yes thank you uh, 
شوف هنا طيب نادين موجودة عايشة عايشة اوكي نو بروبلم هند هند السلام ورحمه الله لا احمد في المكتب الثاني لا لا في نفس المكتب في نفس المكتب طيب هند موجودة طيب حفصة اوكي وفاء وفاء اوكي سارة سلطان موجودة سارة عبد الله موجودة سارة عبد الله موجودة اوكي ثانك يو نورة حمد موجودة أه حصة موجودة ثانك يو يا حصة أه محمد قصي حمزة موجود محمد قصي موجود اوكي طيب أه زهير موجود امل موجودة احمد 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 حميدي This is the first time. صح بس حضرت معي last week. So first, second, third, fourth. Please, Ahmed. Please, you should attend every class, please. Okay. طيب. راح أحضرك إن شاء الله إذا استمرت معي. Okay. Question, concern. زهراء علي طيب yes you can leave if you hear your name you can leave طيب بالنسبة للرياض أحد من الرياض anyone from رياض anyone from different branch yes you can leave thank you محمد ها from رياض خلاص سارة دمام محمد محمد عبدون محمد محمد عبدون طيب هو زوز عصام عصام ها Okay, I'll take a look at you. Have a good day and night.